triamine carbonyl. Uh, oh, I put one that you don't know the name of. Or anyways, I won't name that one. Then. But we got this cobalt complex. We've got three ligands similar and three different. Well, let's draw this out. If we draw this one out, let's put the cobalt in the middle. Uh, there's a couple ways I could draw this. I could go OH. Uh, I could do CO, NO, uh, NH3, NH3, NH3. So I could do it like that. By the way, when you see this kind of drawing, when it's angled downward, that means it's coming towards you. So this NO and this NH3 are coming towards you out of the board. When it's angled back upwards, this NH3 and this NH3 are going into the board. Everything else is in the plane. So the OH and the CO are in the plane. Draw the mirror image. Here's our mirror, CO. And uh, we'll have you on the exam draw mirror images. So make sure you can do this. Even if you can visualize it, we still will have you draw it to show your work. Okay, are those identical or are they in antimers? Well, if you rotate it around, there's a... Uh, uh, if you rotate it around and kind of look at it however you want, uh, they're going to be identical because they're merged. So how would you see that? If you spin it this way, in fact, if you spin, spun it 90 degrees along this axis, uh, you'll see they'll be identical. So those are identical. However, you could have drawn it another way. Let's try that. CO. Putting all the NH3s here, here's the NO, here's the NH, uh, let's see, we don't have lots of CO. Draw the mirror plane. Like that. Okay, in this case, uh, no matter how you rotate this, uh, it's not going to be the same. They're not superimposed. You can rotate 90 degrees, wh whatever, 180 degrees. It's not going to work this time. So these are different molecules. They're both chiral. They're called enantiomers, uh, and they're optical isomers. So we're just running through all the definitions to so get used to them. Now, if you look at all four of these, uh, is this cis trans fac or mer? Fac. Fac with other three ligands different, so we're expecting this one to be chiral. What's the top one? Cis trans fac or mer? Mer. So mer, even though all other ligands are different, uh, it's still going to be achiral or not chiral. Okay? So how many of this molecule, how many stereoisomers are there? How many total stereoisomers are there of this molecule? Not four, because these two are identical. So these are the same. It's identical. Same. Same as that one. So there's actually three. This, this, and this. These two are chiral. <coughs> They're called an isomers or optical isomers. That top one to either of these is called a geometric isomer. That's mer, and these are fac. So these are geometric. From top to bottom, we're talking about geometric isomers. Remember, geometric and optical isomers are stereoisomers. So the top to bottom are called geometric isomers, a subset of stereoisomers. And right and left, these are optical isomers, which is a subset of stereoisomers. Okay, let's see. Was there another? There is one more. Ah, ah. Okay, okay, it's coming back. It's the trisethylene diamine cobalt. 
Tris Ethylene Diamond Cobalt, the last one. And again, I'll have to go to another page to draw this one out. C-O-E-N-3. If you haven't drawn this before, this is how it look. C-O, and draw your six bonds first. I do this first. Okay? Um, now, start putting in ENs that are bidentate. There's one. That means you have to attach it to two places. There we go. So I just have to remember that it bites on on two places. Now, to draw the mirror image, uh, start off again with your CO. I'll just bear. Now, note you drew the EN on the two closest to the mirror. So put that one on. Then you went from the bottom to the one away from the mirror. So that's this one. Then you went from the top to the one away from the mirror. So that's this one. OK, no matter what you do when you rotate this around, these are not going to be identical. <coughs> so these are also mirror images. You rotate it 90, you can flip flop it, spin it over on its head, it doesn't matter. These are going to be chiral. Uh, they're non superposable mirror images. So, in fact, the last three that we did are all chiral the titanium and the two cobalts. Uh, this second cobalt, uh, the first cobalt here, right here, could be chiral. So it doesn't have to be, it's only chiral in the back position. Where the other two are definitely chiral, no matter how you draw them. Okay. 